This section describes how to set up a local site. A local site is built on a local computer. Did not upload to the server website. Because when we were working on the website, repeated modifications and debugging are required. So the site before upload. We'll set up a temporary site locally. This section explains. Study software referred to as small ladder system to demonstrate and explain. The system can also be deployed to a server as a site management system. Baidu search for study. Go to the official page of Xiaopai's website. Go to download page to select the corresponding version according to their own system. If it's a Microsoft system, select the appropriate Microsoft version. Click to download. After downloading, install. During installation, note that the installation path cannot contain Chinese characters or spaces. Create a new folder on your computer as the installation path. Select the path you just took. Let's be patient. Click Install Finish. Then you can start. Can be set to Manual Start. It can also be set to Boot Automatically. Firewall Permit Release. And then we can base it on all needs to build a website. Now let's take a look at the panel. Contains the website can create and manage websites. Database, you can change the database password. You can also create databases. You can also perform other corresponding operations on the database. FTP is to upload and download. Software management can be designed according to our own website running needs to configure the operating environment, such as ASP or PHP environment, database version type and so on. You can also choose the right type of website. There are other tools available for installation. The settings section allows for corresponding system settings, such as configuration file settings, quickly open the specified file and so on. Take a look at the site administration area first. This is a website created by default. Let's see what can be done under the manage button. You can stop, modify, and delete websites. 
PHP version and the extensions can be set. Default home page and pseudo static settings can be set. After opening the website, you can see that a default website has been successfully launched. Open the root directory for the site. This is the root directory of the new site. Edit it. Then select the corresponding folder. Select the corresponding folder and click Save. and then refresh. Take a look at the new local site. The previous modification has been changed accordingly. Now let's move on to the Changes tab. This is where you can create a second domain name for the local site. Add a new domain name. Then select Synchronize Hosts File. That is to change the hosts file on our local computer. When accessing this domain name, it will go to the website corresponding to that directory. Click to confirm. Then open the URL you just entered. This is a simple local site. We can also try to create a new website. Enter the main name first. Then we can have a look. Create a new folder. Select Folder, then select Synchronize Hosts file. This PHP version we can choose from. Click to confirm. Now let's try this URL. When we opened it, we found no file. We can find this file to make changes. The corresponding page has not changed after modification. 
Let's show the extension of this file. Rename. Take a look at the home page of this domain name. It's a garbled code. We can open it with DW software and modify it. Do some coding settings. Select UTFH. Click OK. Click Save. Refresh to see the effect. This is my second website. Such a simple static website is now complete. If it's a dynamic website, maybe add some databases and things like that. You can create a new database and then bind to the website.